Well, time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life in France. This week, we're going to focus on uh, perhaps the Frenchest thing of all, the French language. Once upon a time, the official language of diplomacy, French continues to be vibrant today. It sure is. Linguists say that French is one of the most influential languages in the world just after English. It's spoken on all five continents. It's the native language of nearly 300 million people, and it's an official language in nearly 30 countries. Check out this map here. On top of that, French continues to be used by many international organizations like the UN, the EU, or even the International Olympic Committee. And it's a very important language for doing business, uh, particularly in Africa, which actually counts the largest number of French speakers in the world. Let's take a listen. French is the official language of communication in about 20 African countries. It's the language of education, teaching is done in French, you learn to read and write in French, and it's a useful language for doing business. On the African continent, trade and financial deals are often done in French. Flo, I've been trying to learn French for years and I'm still not fluent. So frustrating. But the number of French speakers continues to grow each year and French is the second most uh, learned foreign language in the world just after English. And it might seem so paradoxical because I must admit French is a very hard language to learn. Let's listen to some of the very wide ranging reasons why people learn French and teach it to their kids. It goes way beyond just wanting to learn how to uh, order a croissant in French. Let's take a listen. With two languages or three with English, you have better opportunities for the future. There's a close relationship between China and French-speaking Africa. So there's a growing need for a Chinese elite that speaks French. I'm fascinated by French people striking all the time. The French clearly like to say what's on their mind. We started speaking to our kids in French because we know they're automatically going to learn Arabic. In Lebanon, everyone speaks Arabic, and they hear it in school, so it's easier. I speak Arabic, so a mix of French and Arabic. All right, Flo, the French are extremely proud of their language, rightfully so. It's a very beautiful language. But the prominence of French isn't accidental. There are a whole network of international organizations, and their sole aim is actually to promote the French language worldwide. Well, you might be familiar with the Alliance Française, which was founded in 1883 and has a network of some uh, 850 establishments in about 136 countries. So it's very widespread, but it's much more than just a language school. It's about spreading French culture and values across the world, which actually leads us to our word du jour, rayonnement. Now, this is a, what, uh, what, what happens when you have a beam of light, a beacon, uh, and it's a good uh, image for spreading influence, kind of like a spotlight uh, spreading influence across the world. And it's the aim of the Alliance Française, and it's actually our aim here at France 24 as well. All right, Flo, there's also another international organization which represents and defends the interests of French-speaking countries. That's called the International Organization of Francophonie, Francophonia, French-speaking countries. It has a 57 members, its own flag, and it's a very big deal in the French-speaking world. Now, every year, the month, of, the month of March is the month of la Francophonie. It's an opportunity for Francophone countries to come together and celebrate the French language and this incredible linguistic community. Right, but many Francophone countries, they're concerned about the growing influence of English, which is a a so-called English invasion, some people are calling it. Well, thanks to uh, globalization and modern technology, countless English words have made their way into the French language, particularly in advertising and branding. And different countries have different ways of dealing with this perceived threat. For instance, the province of Quebec in Canada is quite hardcore. They have very strict rules to keep English out of the French language. Rules, they're in fact enforced by language inspectors. Now, here in France, we have our own institution that's a, a guard dog of the French language, the Académie Française. In fact, we've already talked about the Académie Française in French connections. And on top of this academy, we also have laws that put French first. But it's a real question. Is the language of Molière in danger? Well, recently I spoke to Anthony Lacoudre, who wrote a very fascinating book about language, and he played down the threat of this English invasion, which is only about 500 words. Whereas if you take a look at the history of the English language, you'll find that half of English words actually come from French. The fact that the English language has become the uh, universal language 
is a sort of uh, testament to the French language in itself, because, uh, you know, based on the fact that half of English uh, is French, uh, the success of uh, English is indirectly a success of French. Um, as, as far as French language itself is concerned, I don't see any threat at all. And on the opposite, I think it's the second language most uh, spoken, or at least in the, the larger group of uh, countries in the world. So I don't see any, any uh, danger of any sort. So a sigh of relief then. Uh, <laughs> French isn't being totally invaded by the English language. But what does the future hold for the French language? Well, there was a very interesting study in 2014 that suggested that one day French could actually become the world's most spoken language. Uh, thanks to a population surge in sub-Saharan Africa, it's possible that 750 million people will be speaking French by 2050. So uh, there are many reasons to be optimistic that French will be alive and kicking for the years to come. Glad to hear it. And my French tutor will be glad to hear it as well. Flo, thank you very much for the uh, French Connections today. And if you do want to uh, know more about our French Connections programme, you can also log on to our website, france24.com.